Welcome back to the Global Dream. And today we are going to continue from the last tutorial. In the last tutorial, we learn how to create HTML page, CSS page, uh, CSS file. And we also create a total folder structure for web development. All right, and we also learned some basic commands for get, get version control, so that we can uh, create folder and files and manage our files and folder structures, okay? So what we can do, we can just type here git, or you can just double click here to launch git bash okay press enter and it will launch it has already been launched wonderful and i want to make it a little bigger so that you can see what's going on all right and just untiling git git change directory so now we are on git bash uh, okay, we are now on git bash and telling git bash to go to desktop of my computer and now I am on my desktop and if I check what I have on my desktop, uh, I just type a command ls, ls means show list and press enter and I can see each and everything I have. Um, on my desktop whatever i have here right then i want to go to our folder and our folder is free web development right here and i just type cd and space free free web development okay press enter and now we can check what we have inside uh, free web development okay now we can see we have assets we have css folder and we have we have J js folder means javascript folder and uh, uh cs sorry html file and definitely we have another file inside the css folder there is css file okay now let's open code editor to open the code editor the um, command we need is code space dot press enter and automatically it will open for us now if you are visiting this um, youtube channel for the first time don't forget to subscribe the youtube channel and hit the bell icon so that whenever i upload a new video you can get new uh, notification okay every time i upload new video you will get a notification if you just hit the bell icon no just subscribing and hitting on bell icon you are going to save ten thousand dollars from attending a web development bootcamp okay so if you just going to attend a bootcamp for three months or two months you have to pay ten thousand dollar just to learn uh, front end web development if you are going to learn full stack web development then you have to pay fifteen to twenty thousand dollar just for learning web development okay so when you subscribe and hit the bell icon you are saving at least ten thousand dollar all right just take action follow my tutorial step by step and within three months you will become an expert web developer okay and and uh an expert web developer um, can work from anywhere in the world if he or she has an internet connection with a laptop or computer, 
All right. Now, let's uh, open with live server. Live server is not working on my computer. So what we can do? Of course, there is a problem. There is a solution. Just go to HTML, index.html, then reveal in file explorer, click on it, then just double click on index.html file and it will open. So it was our last web page we created, okay? And we did also a little styling with CSS, okay? HTML is hypertext markup language and it is used to create web pages, create the, uh, create the structure of web page, website, web application, and software. And uh, CSS is cascading style sheets and uh, CSS is used to make things beautiful, styling, okay? So, and after learning HTML and CSS, we are going to learn another complete uh, programming language that is JavaScript and JavaScript is the most popular programming language right now because JavaScript is everywhere. If you go to google.com, if you go to facebook.com, if you go to amazon.com, or if you visit uh, ebay.com, wherever we go, whatever web page we open, JavaScript is everywhere. That is why JavaScript developers or programmers are making much, much more than uh, many other web developers. And a web developer, front-end web developer, if you know HTML, CSS, JavaScript, you are going to make $100,000 per year, okay? That's very simple. And if you want to become expert, it will just take three to six months, depending um, how much time you are investing uh, for practice, okay? So let's see what we can do today. We are going to uh, add some more contents. Uh, contents means not only article, not only paragraphs, content means article uh, as well as photo, okay, images, and also videos and also um, audios. So content means article, photos, images, and audio, okay? So every web page, uh, every web page is created with contents, okay? So let's see how we can add more contents on our web page, okay? Now, let's just add here images and to add image, we need a ing tag, okay? And we can see an attribute here, src is source. This is attribute whenever you see um, is equal to before the equal sign, whatever we see is attribute. Attribute means um, extra information on HTML tag. Uh, image tag is an HTML tag and source SRC is giving extra information and extra information should go inside the quotation mark, okay, quotation mark. So, so what extra information will take place here? We have to provide the path of the images, uh, okay? So images are inside assets, okay? Now in modern web technology, we are not uh, creating folder name, 
images, rather we create a sense and in the sets folder, we keep photos, we keep um, logos, we keep also uh, design of the website, okay? And many more. So first we have to tell where is the photo or images. It is inside the assets folder, so we have to mention it assets. And uh, inside the assets folder, we have images, uh, one image, and this is pre web development. So I just can see whenever I put slash pre web development, okay? And alter inside the alt. Um, attributes we put actually what picture is about we can say web development actually you can write anything but it should be meaningful okay now just save it and go back to the website okay where is the website i think here uh, and we can see huge picture here we don't need that much big picture so we have to make it smaller how we can do it we can just uh, put with okay with also attributes giving extra information what will be the width width will be say for example 600 and we need also height and height will be say for example Height 400. Okay. And now we can check the website. The picture will become uh, smaller. Okay. That's amazing. And now we want to put here another content and it will be a video. How we can put video? Just go to uh, YouTube, okay? Uh, then what we can do from right from YouTube, we can just copy the code, okay? Copy the code and just what we can do, just we can paste the code inside the HTML file and we can play it instantly. So what I'm going to do, uh, I am just click on sharing, okay, share. Uh, then click on embed, then just click on copy, okay, copy. So you can copy in many ways. You can just right button click and copy. Yeah, or you can just click on copy and it will be copied. Then just, we have to tell where we want this video. Just I put it here and it is uh, iframe tag. Here is opening tag and here is closing tag, right? Uh, we, can, we can also just type and put the uh, SRC attribute and inside the SRC, we can put uh, the link of the video, where it is, okay? And we can provide width and height, okay? I want to keep width uh, 600, okay? Same as the picture and height is 400, same size width picture okay 400 now just go back and what we can do we can check actually go to my site and refresh it and we see the video is here and you can play it it's playing how amazing it is okay this is the beauty of web development okay uh, information and technology now taking the place everywhere in our life. So it's a great skill to have.
uh, HTML and CSS first. Once you learn HTML and CSS within a month, you can master on it. And next two months, I will recommend you to learn JavaScript. And in just three to four months, you can be master on front end web development and learn a little more bootstrap you can learn bootstrap within a week and HTML. when you learn html css javascript and bootstrap now you are good to go start working from anywhere in the world online offline you can apply for a job or you can just um live on freelance all right so don't forget to practice on it, okay? And next time we will also learn how to uh, include a link when we click on a link and it will take us to another page or another website or another browser, okay? So that's all for today. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe the YouTube channel if you are visiting for the first time and hit the bell icon, okay? And you can also press on like button and you can make comments to inspire us to create more such free videos so that you can save money, okay? Uh, of course, there are tons of um, contents or video tutorials on web design and development but there are part of web development courses none is uh, going to teach you each and everything from the a to g all right so we are going to teach you from a to z and it is free unless you want to support us uh, if you want to support us, you can just go uh, uh, into the description section and you will find the originality and um, PayPal, um, Gmail. And if you want to contribute, if you want to donate, you can do it. And uh, whatever the number, it doesn't matter, even a single dollar can make change okay so thank you so much see you in the next uh, video tutorial and definitely i will tell you to read the uh, description section because we are giving the gists of the class in the uh, description section thank you